Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? Uncle Craig here on the Thai farm, on the rainy Thai farm, and uh, you know it's 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 raining, not pouring, and I'm not snoring. Yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, so uh, another chill day, but uh, I was really anxious to get out there with my little mini grinder to see if I could uh, cut that thick steel bar on the front gate so I'm not gonna wait I mean you know this is battery I mean it should be able to handle the rain right it's not like I say it's I mean, you, you can probably see it I, last time I was filming when I had a little bit of rain like this I could see the drops weird how the camera picks those up but like right now I don't really feel them so, although it is raining, because you can look at the, whoa, big old bird, get out of there, man. Uh, you can look at the pond over there, and the pond water is raining. There was some wood over here this morning that I moved right in front of my, uh, right in front of my, thing there or whatever and then right when I moved that last piece I saw the tail end of a snake going into a hole but it was it was probably like you know like the mud snake because I could see it you know had one of those fat glassy tails almost like a lizard but I know it wasn't a lizard because I know my snakes and my lizards now and that was a snake. It's probably why my cat hangs out right there. He was hanging out right there in that last video too. He probably saw that snake or he sensed it. And was probably like, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. But <laughs> he didn't get it, obviously. And the road here, it gets, uh, Obviously in the rain it gets really wet, you know, it gets soft. And this stuff starts growing on the side quite fast. I widened this road already. But I really think the only way to keep this road like wide and you know for the most part uh weed free, because you can spray weed killer all along here and the weeds will die. But they're gonna grow back because the water's gonna eventually wash away any weed residue and then uh, yeah so the only way to really do that is to basically run a wall all the way down both sides fill the whole road in flat you know and pave it or just pave it now I think you need the support on both sides all right well here we are man this is the task. Now I wonder if I can even get in here with my damn grinder. Look at that. Oh my god, I can't even I can't even fit it in there. What the hell? Like this maybe. Shit. I need that bigger that bigger blade. Oh my god. Maybe this side. I'll try a little bit on this side. See what I got. Well, it is cutting it. That was probably about halfway through. <sighs> but not as smooth as an operation as I thought it would be. I didn't, I didn't think about the, the flushness of this. But if, I, if I'm looking at this right, 
the disc hole on here I think it's the same size as a regular disc for the bait grinder you know for the normal grinder so if that's the case and it looks like it's about the same thickness but if that's the case then I should be able to take the, the the guard off of this and mount a full size disc on it which will give me that extra inch and a half or whatever to maybe go straight in and if it's a thicker disc then it'll cut better so maybe it'll do it but if not what I'm gonna probably have to do on that other side I'm gonna just have to use a hammer and break out some of that brick so that this thing can go flush in there maybe just that much brick or whatever and it can go flush and cut it but it does cut it so I was a little worried that the, the torque you know may may not have been enough or something like it would take forever but it's not it's working out pretty good so score I don't have to deal with that but again constant eye on the water level over there I am happy to uh, report that my bougainvillea that I bought at the market uh, the other week where the guy had propagated the different colors in here and then uh, the other day it pretty much all but died I figured well they'll probably all die except for the red one which is the dominant one and that's all that was showing before but now it looks like the white one had come back and the yellow one had come back so perhaps the propagation of the master grower has worked and now it will uh, flourish that's cool if I was gonna have a bougainvillea I'd, I'd much rather have a multicolored one rain man me I did clean up my shop and I cleaned up uh, my side over here organize my wood a little bit you know we got people coming huh oh now it's by doing all okay she have your clothes she have a couple yeah. days of clothes do make will probably give her clothes so we're going to pull in tomorrow and um, we're gonna take our niece with us to meet down there on the beach with our other sisters my sisters-in-law a regularly a regular family bonanza I'm waiting for the actual serious downpour of rain because you know I want to try and make I want to try and capture some footage of the downpour you know I need some film man for my made for made for TV movie <laughs> I just got I want to get it going see what I want to see what I can do create creatively get my creative juices flowing anyway I did uh, punch out a couple videos for y'all so I was able to clean up some of that happy about my my grinder it's gonna work it's gonna work and uh, that's about that so what else man what else can I share with you <laughs> not much that's it is you know I, again I'll reiterate that here on the on the farm this is life man I'm just chilling 
not a lot going on on most days I mean obviously sunny days I'm out there working and projects and stuff but to me projects are still in the category of not a lot going on you know nobody's yelling about getting deadlines done or screaming about this and that and the other thing you know no time for this or this or that man once you retire you don't think about time I my when I cut my hand up last year which was this same time actually it was or no it was in March yeah I think it was in March of last year end of March maybe of last year I um you know I had to take my watch off for that whole thing and I've worn it maybe half a dozen times or three or four times since then you know for a couple of days only and and other than that I don't wear my watch anymore I wore a watch my whole life man my whole life <coughs> at least when I could afford to buy one but pretty much my certainly my whole young adult my whole adult life I wore a watch now time is of insignificant value to me you know so I don't worry about it. Neither should you if you're retired. If you're not retired, dude, you better you better get the hell out of there and retire. Because you're dying. And, you know. If you're 50, or what's that, 40 probably? No. If you're 50, you probably are certainly halfway to being buried more than halfway unless you plan on living to be 100 you know I don't I'm gonna be 65 to tomorrow tomorrow huh. yeah I want to be actually 65 I've been in my this word you're in your 65th year after you turn 64 right so I've been in my 65th year and then tomorrow I'll turn 65 starting my 66th year. Is that how that works? Because I'm zero when I'm born, but I live for a whole year before I actually turn one. And that's that whole Korean calendar thing or something, right? Although I just read, I think, that they decided to eliminate that thing and now they're back to normal calendar like everybody else in the world. It was either Korea or Japan. But, yeah, man, 65 tomorrow, and, you know, get busy living or get busy dying. So we're going to get busy living by getting down to the beach. And hopefully it's not pouring rain the whole time. But, you know, any day is a beach day. Rain or shine. All right, man. Well, thanks for watching. And keep watching. And maybe we'll get back to you from the beach side here on the Bonnard.